desolate places. See, so that's always going to be the overtone, if you will, that's touching Esau's outlook on things. He's pretty much chasing his tail. He's always going to be in the spirit of rebuilding. And that's why you have the agenda now going forward, falling under the umbrella of the new world order, where these devils is looking to crown their enterprise a success. That's touching this new world. You see? Where this devil will regain momentum and continue to occupy the power seat. Well, according to the prophecies, you're going to fail miserably. <laughs> See? It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, which again, the so-called white man accomplished that feat of rebuilding and revising the ancient Roman Empire. See? And now they're looking to pursue their desire to crown their enterprise of success. So these devils is in the process of building. See, again, it says, they shall build, but I will throw down. <laughs> yeah, let's read this again. It says, thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. See, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. But what's the point? They shall build, but I will throw down. Once again, proven that the so-called white man and his legacy is associated with destruction, thus making him the son of perdition. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. Lord willing, it was that a fine. Till the next time I say, Shalom.